So today we are going to we're going to layer in a combination of mauve of I guess it's plum mist. Mm. We're going to control this outer edge here, mm -hmm. which is sort of hard. Yeah, it's thick. It's thick. It's uh, that's okay. We'll just soften it. Oh, Everyone does true. their best, you know. And you had a nice result, so that's mm -hmm. all that counts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go right along this blepharoplasty scar here. So I'm going to take my special shadow needle. This is a 2533. Mm. What that means is there are 25 needles, mm -hmm. and it's a 33 gauge, and it's a long taper, so it tells you that. Mm. I'm just going to tap in here. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Tap, tap. You can hear the... Mm -hmm. Can you hear that, sort of? Mm. It doesn't feel anything. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's great. I'm just going over the scar a little bit too because that will mm -hmm. texturize the scar mm -hmm. and you won't even be able to see it. It's like dry needle. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so that's going in there nicely. You can see that start going in. And I'm going to put a little numbing on there mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to the other eyelid. little teeny teeny blood drops what we call pinpoint mm -hmm. or punctate bleeding bleeding sounds like blood coming out but it's really more like little dots I'm just following this incision and I'm just filling in the color between your eyeliner and I'm going over that upper outer thick part. Mm -hmm. Okay, to to calm that, to calm that down. This is the twenty-five thirty-three. There's mm -hmm. twenty-five needles. Mm -hmm. They're sloped, angled mm -hmm. into sort of an oval. Mm -hmm. So it's real easy to work with. You can feel me almost pushing, can't you? Mm -hmm. Just push, 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 push. The old tabori that the Japanese did, mm -hmm. they had a mallet. And they, yes, I see that. You know, and so in a way my hand is being the mallet. I'm not just tapping and lifting, I'm pushing. Mm. You know, push, push, push. Take just a little break and put a little numbing on this other eyelid. Okay. Mm -hmm. That pinpoint. Yeah. Bleeding, the eyelids are so um, thin. They're thinner than we're used to working on, even on the eyeliner, as you may know.
And you feel that sprinkling effect? It's sort of sprinkling the skin in there. Mm -hmm. Have to hold it pretty tight. When I was working on that older patient earlier, it was a little, the skin was looser. Yours is much easier to work on because it's younger, healthier skin. Now my line here that I can see, it may not be as visible to someone else, but is I'm going along the scar line. Okay. And the scar will be no more. And I just minimize this and then when I touch up this black I'll even out this tail here. Mm -hmm. This is going to be very subtle. In fact, you're just going to feel like, um, well, you're going to wake up with makeup and, mm -hmm. you know, just, mm -hmm. and you're going to, of course, be able to put anything over it you want to. Right. Because it's going to be a natural, natural, nothing phony baloney. Mm -hmm. Nice though, it's soft, but the color's starting to come in. Come up just a little higher on this side where that scar is. Okay. This will enhance your eye and make your you know, without the scar and without that thick mm -hmm. line, it's just mm -hmm. so people are gonna look at your eyes now instead of at your mm -hmm. dark line and can definitely get a little splatter here. Not bad, but a little splatter. Okay. okay now I'm going to go do your eyeliner here. Just tighten it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Clean it up. Mm -hmm. You work from the top down. Mm -hmm. If you work from the bottom up, you get too much swelling. I have a lot of color in here, you just need it to clean it up, mm -hmm. spruce down, soften, mm -hmm. not so much blue. Mm -hmm. well, it's not bad, it's fine. The slopes make quick work of mm -hmm. color because they put all the color in the same depth, the same time, at a 32 degree angle. So it's very effective. I'm sort of sweeping this color up toward the eye. 
so we don't spread any ink that's in there. Mm -hmm. Just a couple taps there, and we'll go to the next die, and you'll be done. So see, it doesn't take too long. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is, you don't want to go doing this in a real dark color, because mm -hmm. it'll start um, getting um, like BB's dark color. You don't want that, so mm -hmm. don't go too don't make dark. make it look too thick. Huh? Yeah, well, just don't make it too dark, or mm -hmm. you can see every hole that's made. Mm -hmm. I saw one gal and she, someone put in a really dark um, eyeliner, eye, uh, eyeshadow with it. I don't know what tool they were using, but mm -hmm. um, anyway, she can't, she looked like someone had, you know what BB shot would look mm -hmm. like, you know, it was Ooh. just like BB shot. It was not pretty, but if you stick with the right colors, yeah. you'll have a nice effect. Okay, now I'm going to spruce up your eyeliner just a little bit. It's always better to work with them less and advance them than to work with them too much and try mm -hmm. to take them back. But now when you start hearing that crispy sound, mm -hmm. I call it Rice Krispie Snap Crackle, crackle and Pop. Mm -hmm. Flick it in from the side of that corner. It'll probably need a little evening out, so worst case you have to come back to Hawaii, <laughs> you know, for a little focus visit or touch up. But you should still, when you know our clients leave, they should still be able to live comfortably with their mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I'm sort of bouncing on the skin, mm -hmm. you feel that? And all the needles are just going smack right in. And color is saturating good. Yeah, very oh, good. Yeah, yeah, really good. You'll have some areas where I may have overworked it just a little bit. Um, it mm -hmm. won't hurt anything. It just... Mm -hmm. uh, the human canvas is the human canvas. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to just put a little more black right here and you're all done. Right. As you remember, on the main one, I just want to make sure you're set to go. For, you know, at least to like mm -hmm. lay hands on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
You hear that? Mm -hmm. That's just pure color, just flying in the skin. <laughs> you don't hear that, that noise unless you're in the right level. Mm -hmm. So we've got you a little looking like you need a woman's shelter. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm just going to leave you like that for a moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cool you down. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm doing is I'm leaving that color on till we're done with the cooling period mm -hmm. so that it can soak in. Oh. Okay, so I actually painted the eyeshadow oh. over the... So it soaks right into yeah. the holes? Yeah, so I, you don't Broken wipe it all skin. off and irritate it and bleed it out. Mm -hmm. So That's I'm going to... Good idea. I I'm know. going to set my timer here for... Let's, I'm going to set this for mm, right around 10 minutes mm -hmm. because, you know, you, you've been worked on. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes off, we'll clean you up. Mm -hmm. Lift up your head, pictures. Please? Yeah, lift up your head so you can just relax now. Okay?